I thought I saw a wabbit. Wabbits, we're hunting wabbits today. What's going on everybody? This is your host Andrew Pensy. Welcome back to Vital Point. As of today, there are only seven days left of deer season. <laughs> I don't have any mornings or evenings left to actually hunt. I just have other commitments. I can't do it. So here I am. I have only a couple hours today, midday. Now I'm not going to see any deer midday today. It's like a 99% chance that I won't see anything. Or maybe I'll see them, but not within bow range, that's for sure. Uh, so I have been seeing a lot of rabbits lately though. And I thought, heck, you know what? Let's do a little wabbit hunting. Now I've been learning a couple different techniques to call rabbits in. And yes, call in rabbits. How about that? Um, that's what I think makes this so fun. I'm gonna go see if I can call a couple up uh, in areas that I've been seeing them. Usually, you know, dusk, dawn is usually when you see them. And I saw this video on YouTube I'll put a link below for it, where a guy shows how to use his finger to call rabbits. And basically, yeah, lube up your finger with a little bit of saliva. This part's kind of gross, but I'm gonna do it. And then you just suck in against your finger. Just like that. And the rabbits, like, they, they, they want to, they're curious. They want to know what's going on. They're like, oh, is someone being killed? Is, you know, Johnny over there being killed? Bugs? Bugs, you okay? So uh, they come out and, and investigate, supposedly. So that's the plan. We're going to go in with the GoPro on the um, thingamajig, on the bow. And we're going to see if we could uh, call in a rabbit and kapow! Rabbit stew, baby. Let's go. I'm debating wearing the ghillie today. And the ghillie suit, I'll tell you, it's great. I mean, in terms of camo, the thing is amazing. And I've had animals walk right next to me, they don't know what's what. But the problem with the ghillie is when you're walking through really thick stuff, such as what we got going on here, it catches on everything. And if you just brush and buy stuff, see that? It just, it just grabs on everything. And it ends up making a lot of noise because you're pulling your strings away and Look, it leaves your strings attached to all the branches. So, uh, and then you end up accumulating a lot of branches on you too as you go and you gotta pull off the, especially these rose thorn things, they are a pain. So, I'm not really sure what to do. I gotta think about it for a second and decide if it's worth it. Um, I'm thinking of just leaving it because I just don't want to deal with that right now. This is just a little Primos predator call, uh, like a rabbit squeak. Actually, it's called the still mouse squeaker. Works pretty good. A hawk just flew down right over my head. One thing about this rabbit call is you'll call in predators too. I totally called in that hawk and called in a bunch of vultures too. So that was kind of cool. At least I know my predator calling works. Um, I'm a little torn because this is such a good area for deer that um, I think I might just throw a broadhead on and, you know, see if I come across a deer. Even though my chances are so slim, it would just be so great if I did. Well, I got my rabbit. <laughs> I thought I was sneaking up on him. I'm like, oh, I see a rabbit, great. But he's already dead. <laughs> and I don't see any visible marks on him. So he must have just had a heart attack or something, died of old age. He looks pretty fresh. His eyes are still glossy. Go figure. This is the weirdest thing. He's like a fresh rabbit. Looks like it, 
it just expired. It's still soft. Uh, no visible signs of damage anywhere. How about that? He probably saw me coming and just had a heart attack because he got so scared of me. <laughs> That's that guy! <laughs> <laughs> well, he's not going to go to waste. I'm going to throw him out on the main path here so that he's a little more visible to some birds of prey. And I'm sure that either a hawk or a fox is going to come nail him in no time. Too bad I'm not goose hunting right now. Well, I actually just had a rabbit pop his head out right over here in this uh, real thick stuff. He saw me though, I got busted by a rabbit <laughs> and he took off, but it was pretty cool that uh, actually one popped out. The technique works, how about that? Probably would have been hard to get a shot at him anyway with all the branches and stuff. A lot of geese. what I love about hunting, you never know what you'll see out here. <laughs> see, sometimes when you fight your way in through these thick areas, find a little oasis here, like I found an awesome trail coming through here. Beds all over the place. But then the tricky part is finding a way in without disturbing the entire forest and also a place to set up, but boy, this trail is sweet. So my synopsis on the rabbit calling is it definitely gets their attention, perks them up, but I don't know that they'll necessarily come running towards you. Um, so you don't have a whole lot of time for a shot, but it might get them to pop out of the hole anyway. So guys, there's a time to hunt and there is a time to run through the forest because you gotta pick up your kids. That's about where I'm at right now. <laughs> so it's been a lot of fun. And uh, hey, always aim for that vital point. Catch you next time, guys. I'm coming, Heather, I'm coming.